Welcome back to This Bytes For You. So since Windows 8 came out, Microsoft decided it was way too easy to get into safe mode. Let's, F8, that's all you need to do to get in. But no, 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 we need to make it more difficult. I know. Don't worry guys, in this video, I'm going to show you six different methods to get into safe mode. The first four, easiest, if you can already get into Windows, the last two is if you can't get into Windows, and number seven is, well, you'll see number seven. Anyway, let's get started. All right, so before we actually get into safe mode, one of the things we're going to have to do if you don't already have one, and if you do just put the same one in again, is we're going to have to set a password. So we'll click start settings or go into the control panel, accounts, sign in options, and then password. Now, like many of you, typically I don't have a password on my computer. I just want it to go in. I don't want to have to type every time I go in. Safe mode requires a password depending on how old or how outdated your version of Windows 10 is. So we're going to have to set a password, if anything, temporarily, but in order to get into safe mode. So we'll click add over here, and then we'll type in our new password. And then click next, finish, and now we have our password. So then to get into safe mode, we'll click on the start button and type msconfig, and then click system configuration. From here, we'll go into boot, click safe mode, apply, and okay. This is going to allow us to get into safe mode. The problem is every time you restart your computer, you're gonna go back into safe mode. This is a precaution just for now, but on the next methods, we won't have to go through that. And then we click restart. All right, and then here, type in that new password you just put in. close this out, and you're in safe mode. Now, safe mode is important for so many reasons. For example, one reason is if you install a driver or a Windows update or a piece of software or you have a virus, you can't get into Windows anymore. So you need Windows safe mode to be able to remove all that stuff. Now, in this video I've linked up above, that goes into basically a bad driver install and then how to remove that driver and everything. Now, if you've installed a program that starts up with your computer that causes you not to be able to utilize it correctly, I'm gonna show you here real quick how to fix that. So when you're in safe mode, you right click on the start button, you go into task manager, and then startup. Yours might show up like this. If it does, just click more details, and then click startup. Okay, so, here we'll notice a bunch of programs that start up. Some of I've already disabled, but maybe I've installed a piece of software or a driver that's causing me issues. So I'm just gonna go right click, disable, right click, disable, and just because for example purposes, right click and disable. Now I can just close this, then right click, shut down or sign out, well, we forgot one thing. Start msconfig, boot, and uncheck this so that we don't go into safe mode every single time we reboot. Apply, OK, and then restart. All right, so then when we're here, type in your brand new password, and you're in Windows. So while that method works, it's not my favorite method. So let's move on to number two. So for method number two, we're going to go ahead and click on the start button, settings, scroll down, update and security, recovery, and restart now under advanced startup. All right, so here we're going to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, 
startup settings and finally we're going to click on restart that's going to give us these options in a second all right so then on startup settings we'll go ahead and press number four number five or number six number five is for safe mode with networking and number six is safe mode with command prompt the easiest is number four and then here we'll enter that new password and we are in safe mode easy enough right so now let's right click shut down our sign up and restart for step number three or for method number three all right so for method number three right click on the start button hover over shutdown or sign out now we're going to hold the left shift key and press restart now we can let go of that shift key and we'll click troubleshoot advanced options startup settings and again restart all right and like we did before just hit number four for safe mode go ahead and log in and that's method number three all right and let's go ahead into windows for method number four now for method number four if you just can't get past this window you can get to here but nothing you do works you're going to click on the start button hold again your left shift key then click restart restart anyway while you're still holding your left shift key and we'll be brought back to this one so that we'll click troubleshoot advanced options startup settings and restart like we did before and number four here for safe mode and enter in your password and you're in windows again so now let's move on to number five number five is none of this works and you're panicking don't worry you're still good that's panicking is kind of number seven which really isn't a method to get back into windows foreshadowing all right so for number six this is kind of a last ditch effort that you really can't get into windows and you're kind of panicking don't panic just yet so we're going to press the power button when we see our boot logo asus msi gigabyte evj whatever motherboard manufacturer you have when you see that press and hold the power button so let me show you i'm gonna put my hand over here remember when i see that logo press and hold now that that's off turn it on again repeat the process you might need to do it two or three times press and hold now for the third time turn it on again the screen is going to look a little bit different this time or it should we just might have to do it a few more times just in case i'm going to have my finger right over here okay so when you see that please wait then you're good so we're going to be brought into the recovery menu in the recovery menu we'll just click see advanced repair options then it looks like it did before troubleshoot advanced options startup settings and then restart to change windows options such as and like we did before number four enter sa enable safe mode and you're in windows again okay so now for the next step it's going to involve our windows 10 usb install drive the emergency is after this one so i kind of put this one into play it is a little bit more advanced so work with me on this all right so for this one with the computer turned off we're going to insert that windows 10 drive 
and turn her on and we're going to go into the BIOS. All right, so when we're in the BIOS, we're going to go over to boot. Now in boot, we have two options. If you have a boot override option, you can just select your thumb drive and press enter on that thumb drive and it'll boot to it. And then next time it'll boot regular, like you have set up in these boot options. Okay, so now here on boot option number one, if we don't have boot override, we're going to select the Patriot memory or whatever your thumb drive is, press enter, F10 to save and exit, and OK. OK, and then here you select whatever version of Windows you have installed. And then we'll click Next. Don't click Install Now. That might be for the last method. And then click Repair Your Computer. Now this menu is a little bit different because we don't have the option to boot into safe mode. We have to make it. So now we'll click troubleshoot, command prompt. Okay, so then here we're going to go ahead and type bcd edit space forge slash set, open bracket, the little squiggly lines here and default, then close it, space safe boot, space minimal, then we press enter. Then at this point, take out your thumb drive, then shut down your computer. Then turn it back on. Ah, and we forgot to set back the Windows Boot Manager as the boot drive, so let's go back into the BIOS. Then in the BIOS, we'll go back to boot, come down to boot option number one, and set Windows Boot Manager, F10, save and exit, OK. And just go ahead and log in. So the last method, unfortunately, is reinstalling Windows. It is not ideal, although that's my favorite method because Windows is fresh, Windows is brand new, your system works great. If you don't know how to, I have a video linked up here that's gonna go ahead and show you from beginning to end how to install Windows and you know give you all your recommendations and everything. I don't recommend repairing Windows more than what we've done already because then your Windows is kind of crippled. It's not going to work as well as it did potentially before all these issues. So in this video, I've shown you a bunch of different ways to get into Windows safe mode. Windows safe mode really does help you a ton. Unfortunately, Microsoft made it incredibly difficult to get into, not as easy as it was Windows 7 and just about everything before that. But I mean, it is what it is. We have to live with it right now. So let me know down in the comments below what you think of this video. On top of that, just realize I made this video because a lot of people have asked me for something along these lines. And so just know that when that happens, when people ask me enough questions, that you know, I have to type it a bunch of times. I'd rather make a video. I feel like that'll help you so much more to get what you need right now. Even though I do reply to all of my comments, if not within seconds, you know, within maybe an hour or two or three, and if I'm just slam busy doing a bunch of other stuff, another day or two or something. But I'll get back to you. I always do, unless YouTube does not deliver the message and unfortunately that happens sometimes so let me know down what you think down in the comments below i'd love to get your feedback and again maybe i'll make some more videos for you guys on the topics you have for me so again this is iggy with this bites for you i'm always trying to bring you the latest review and then also a bunch of different videos 
to help solve a lot of the headaches you guys have today. All right, my friends, Iggy with this bites for you up. See you guys.